Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you WPL Excel housings that have been released recently and I received two of those front Excel housings from Banggood today. Maybe you have seen my WPL C34 theory as uh, the part with the Excel housings. That's my original WPL C34 front Excel housing and I had to remove the paint to make it fit and I did also <laughs> remove uh, the WPL logo and when I released the, this video um, Banggood offered two new front Excel housing in silver and in black for an extremely cheap price and I ordered uh, the silver one and the black one because as I have told you in my Excel housing upgrade video I think the cover of the paint the thick cover of the paint is the reason for the problems many people have with the C34 Excel housings and maybe the silver Excel housing is not painted and the black one is painted and we will see and one day after I have ordered the two front Excel housings there has been a further set released with uh, front axle housing and center and rear axle housing and brake discs um, for a 6x6 six six. but because I did already buy those two I did not order the 6x6 six six version I don't have a 6x6 six six anyway so let's open those up and see what's inside and see if they are the same axle housings that come with the C34 Let's start with the black one. Same bag with the same WPL logo as you get in the C34 for many parts. And what do, do, do you get? You get a lot of screws. You get a lot of screws. Phillips head, black Phillips head screws. You get uh, the two steering knuckles, but what I miss are those, I don't know the word, the technical term, to insert the screws here. What I mean, those are two steering metal steering knuckles of other metal axle sets for WPL trucks and I miss those shims or whatever the name of this those parts is and it will be probably difficult to mount the steering knuckles without of without of those and those are probably needed have to search my part pin if I have parts like this but anyway this is the front axle housing and the one diff cover is already mounted what's that with screws so It's already fixed with screw screws. Why did they do this? So four screws already inserted. Strange as it is. And now we can remove the axle housing cover. No paint inside. That's very nice. No paint on the pins here. As you can see these were main reason for the problems many people had with the C34 axle housings and here also nicely they seem to be much better painted than the axle housings I got with my C34 so let's mount this again and the red front axle housing cover 
with the WPL logo as uh, this one had too. I send it right off. Does come with paint with the same thick, thick red paint as the C34 Excel housings come. So let's see if it. And we have the same problem as we did already have with the C34. You see, I will have to remove the paint again <laughs> to make those Excel housings fit. But anyway, they are so cheap, unbelievably cheap, and so far they look quite nice. They look exactly the same as the C34 Excel housing covers. And you get also those counterparts. For mounting, closing the axle housings. So far, not a perfect fit here. And don't know if this is necessary. not use them in this axle housing so far. Anyway you get it and you get the two steering knuckles but no screws for the steering knuckles. But how many screws to come with this set? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21. 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Why do I get 21 screws with this Excel housing anyway for the... I guess I paid 5 or 6 bucks for those housings. That's unbelievably cheap. What we will have to search for are those copper or whatever. shims to mount the steering knuckles. The second front axle has housing coming with the, the silver one coming with the same bag with the same huge amount of screws. I don't know why they do give us such a lot of screws. Here the silver Excel housing is not already mounted it is as it was in my black one and what's the important thing is those silver axle housing they are not painted and that's a huge advantage because most of the problems people have mounting their C34 axle housings uh, are a result of the thick layer of paint so only the front diff covers come with ugly red paint, thick red paint. I will remove this again. But uh, the other, all the other parts of the silver axle housing are not painted and I assume this will fit much nicer than the other ones. I assume, but it's not true. Why does it not fit here? Okay, did they put a kind of, maybe they have painted it with clear coat. Strange as it is, the silver axle housing is much harder to close than the black one. So maybe they have used clear coat for the axle housings and did not close the housings while painting it. 
what they seemed to have done with the black ones. So I have to check it with a loop. That's why I have a loop here. It seems that they... Here you can see my loop, guys. Yeah, it really seems to be true. They used clear code for the silver axle housings and did not close the axle housings before painting. And so that's probably the reason why those housings are so hard to close as so many of the original WPL C34 axle housing, so the housing axle housings coming with the kits were or had the problems. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. So funny. The black one seems to be better than the silver one, and I ordered the silver ones because I thought uh, they do come without paints. They did seem to have done it nicely in the black ones, not painting it inside and painting both halves i'm sure they use paint clear coat you can see it or i i don't probably you won't be able to see it on camera but i can see it here now uh, now let's try to mount uh, the axle housing covers what's that impossible on this side <laughs> oh la la there seems to be is there any difference in the pin sizes of the axle housing covers? No, there is not. I hope you can see this on camera. All four pins are the same size, but check this out here. I will try to show it to you with a screwdriver. Take a look at those holes for the pins and on those holes for the pins. Those are much, much larger than those are. What's that? So. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. Two different the pins of the axle housing covers are much too small for those small pin hole holes ah, no they are not too small the pin holes on <coughs> sorry pin holes on the right side are much larger on the right side the, p the holes for the pins on one side are much larger than on the other side is it the fact in my black axle housings too? Okay, and check the black axle housing and it seems to be the fact too that the, on the picture now the right pin holes are much smaller than the left ones. The left ones seem to be too large. But the right pinholes on the black axle housings probably have not been painted and the pins of the black axle housing covers on the inside have not been painted and those pins probably have been painted. So I will have to remove the paint and maybe widen those holes a little bit to make the pin of the axle housing covers what a mess of words fit so let's try the axle housing cover of the black axle housings which are not painted inside and well also does not really fit so what could we do let's find the drill First, let's compare the diameter of the pins. That's the black axle housing cover, which has not been painted inside. And the diameter is 2 mm, 1.98. And now let's take the silver axle housing cover. I assume it has been painted. 
so the diameter should be a little bit larger <laughs> and it is take a look it's about 2.1 2.08 millimeter so now we do already know the reason I don't know if I can measure the diameter of the holes 1.9 in the silver axle housing the diameter of the small holes and 1.9 in the black axle housing too and the others are 2.3 millimeters so they are far too large so they drilled two large holes on the one side and a little bit two small holes on the other side and uh, I will try to clean those up with a two millimeter drill let's take a two millimeter drill bit and try to widen those small that's it's not it's possible to do it by hand or should I It's possible to do it by hand, what's a sign for that most of this is only paint. Probably would be better if I would use drill or a hand drill. Better to try it with a hand drill, will be easier. Won't use a electric drill for this okay and now let's see if they will fit mm. yes much better fit probably cleaning the pins with some blade will make them fit perfectly I guess you guys know this already from your C34 if you have one which side did I drill I guess this side So I did it wrong now. Well, not. Yes, now it fits. So same problems as we had with the C34 axle housings. The paint, the silver axle housings oh, sold by WPL now for a very cheap price are painted with clear coat. What makes close them difficult? The black ones. Oh, I did already close them here. They are not painted inside, so probably <laughs> the black ones are the better ones to buy. And anyway, what is very strange, they do come with uh, two different sizes of uh, pinholes. One hole is much too large. It's 2.3 millimeter for the 2 millimeter pins, but it won't be a problem. And the other ones have a little bit less than 2 millimeter and have paint inside and what's with the black ones yeah, you can insert the two millimeter pin much is uh, the two millimeter drill much easier so there is no paint inside so clean those holes up and clean the pins and then you will have really 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 cheap axle housings and most important you will get the uh, you will get uh, the steering knuckles with those axle housings for this price we should not complain, we have to work a little bit to make them work perfectly. The main problem I see here is not that the screws are missing for mounting the for mounting the steering knuckles. Those screws are probably the same as used in all the others, okay. So those are I guess two millimeter screws. Let's check it. 
now 2.5 millimeter screws so you will need 2.5 millimeter screws what's not difficult I will use black ones anyway 2.5 by 5 or 6 millimeters but to get those kind of bushings or shims will be more difficult so the diameter is 2.5 inside and outside 3.6 did I m no no sorry they are two yes 3.5 millimeters outside so you will have to search for and I will have to search for or find those kind of pushing so whatever they are called and I will search my parts pin maybe I have something like this from servos or helicopters and those will fit but it will be difficult to mount uh, the steering knuckles without those bushings shims whatever it is called. So final conclusion of the ultra cheap axle housing covers and steering knuckles you can buy now from WPL. Well they are of course worth the money. The price is so cheap they are much 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 cheaper than all other types of axle housings you can buy. Strange as it is the black ones are probably the better ones to buy because at, at least my black axle housing covers have not painted been painted inside with black cover what is very nice because so they fit much better and they close much better maybe I can even remove the second screw yes I can So no paint inside, close perfectly, fit perfectly, no problem at all, while the silver axle housing covers, ah, they have been painted with clear coat and not only on the outside, also inside and we have the same problems as we had with the C34 axle housing covers, the big layer of paint makes it difficult to close. What is strange with all of those is uh, the different pinhole size here. Use a 2 millimeter drill, it will help you. Use some blades and scratch the paint. Uh, both types, black and clear or black and silver, come with red axle, one red axle housing cover. You will have to remove the paint at least inside here to make those fit. You need 2.5 millimeter screws for fitting the steering knuckles or mounting the steering knuckles and you will need those kind of shims or bushings and 2.5 millimeter inside diameter 3.5 millimeter outside diameter I will check my part pin but anyway I I will recommend those Excel housing covers to anyone they are so cheap I paid they are seven bucks or something and you can use points or coupons or whatever and for this you get a lot and we should not complain we know we have to um, modify always a little bit with WPL and MN and JJRC trucks and the stuff sold for those so they are a bang for the buck there will be a way to find uh, those kind you could also probably only use a little bit a small tube and the shim on the top uh, instead of these bushings That's it. My result is twofold. The price is so cheap. The housings are okay, but there are some problems. But if we think of the price, we should probably not complain. And maybe someone of WPL could explain us why we get more than 20 screws with each of those Excel housing sets. I don't know what those use. Um, I don't know why 
we would need so many screws, more than 20. You need 4 and 4 is 8 and not 21. But no complaint if we get too many screws. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Ciao. See you next time.